Oh, I'm gonna do that. All right. So, people of YouTube, um, there's one thing I forgot to tell you in my redrum tutorial, and I figured out how to use the Kong drum. So, in the redrum, in reason, obviously. So let's make a quick beat. I don't care how it sounds. synth tom your ride symbol All right, I'm gonna play it at the top your tom h I don't know what that is tom m don't know what that is I'm not really a drummer tom l crash symbol Oh, bass drum two, si er, snare drum two, clap, hi hat tight. Then I have bass drum one, which I edited a little bit ago. It's actually a snare, a uh, synth drum. Then snare drum one. That's also a snare synth drum. Sorry, I can't talk today. Hi hat closed and hi hat open which I added both of those. I added the entire bottom. Okay, so first, let's I'm gonna reopen it. I'm going to redrag. Make sure it... Okay, I didn't say this in my last tutorial, but I did put a thing using ScreenFlow, a text box. In the very beginning, I dragged right here. No, right here. The problem with dragging it right underneath this is this is connected to this. I think, yeah, this is like a mixer, and this is for mastering, and they are attached, but they are separate. This is not a drop down, so if you drag something in, be in between the two, the instrument will not play. It'll play, but it won't have sound. Now let's move on back to the comma. Okay. So, I have my physical drums. So we're going to click show drum and fix. So we scroll down. Right here. Hit the drum module. And you have NN Nano Sampler. We're not going to be doing this though. I'm going to show you how to make like a ravey, techno-y beat, I guess. The Kong is very hard to use without a plug-in where you can actually go boom, sh, boom, boom, sh, because you have to click and move your mouse around. I think that's just hard if you have a freaking slow mass. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up system preferences. I'm gonna go track that. Tracking the speed, make it very fast. That's too fast. I have no idea where it is. Let's try right here. See how fast I can make a beat. Okay, that's a pretty good speed. Let's scroll down. Go back into my drum model. Go to synth bass drum. 
Now listen to it. I have to scroll up a little bit. Okay. Now listen to it. It, it doesn't sound too good. So what we're going to do is bend it. We're going to change the bend amount. Now listen. That's a little bit too much of a bend, so turn that down a little bit. That sounds cool. Change the pitch. Right there. That's a little bit too high. I'm gonna make it low. Too weird. Alright, now you can change the tone. Kinda like that. Now let's add a little noise. That's too much of a snary noise. That's good. Change the level up a little bit. Alright. That's good. I'm gonna go into the snare. So, I'm gonna change this one to uh, another ravey, techno -y, more of a techno -y. Uh, drum. Sorry, I was just seeing if it's still raining, which it is, so I can't skate. So, click the synth snare. Now let's listen to the difference. It still sounds pretty basic because we haven't changed anything. So, what we're gonna do is add a pitch bend. Not a bend, just change the pitch. See it now? That's very sharp. We don't want that. Alright, the snare is very hard to use. Harmonic balance. Alright, you have to add a reverb for this one. If you want it like this one. Now I'm going to make it wet. Very wet, only wet. Okay, now we are going to make it damp. Make the size very big. We need a little noise in there. Okay. Now we are going to add a tape echo. Oh wait, no. We want noise. That's really way too high. lower. Alright. Um. We won't be using the high hat and the closed high hat. But, uh, you can change it. I don't get how you change that. I, I don't, I only understand these. to actually get it to play. This is the difficult part. So we have our, our two... Thing. Oh, one more thing before you record. Before you record. The one thing to know is the higher up on the button, the higher up, the louder it gets. See? Click the very top. Click the very bottom. You can barely hear it, just a faint. Same with any drum. And etc. Oh, this is something I forgot to show you. You can change the kit. But of course we stuck with the con kit because I was being an idiot. Now to get it to actually play. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Kong down in the timeline. And this little red record button. Oh, command return. Okay. 
but I'm going to click it anyway, just because that's what regular people will do. Um, and we record a song. And I think you'll figure it out by watching me do it. Hit record. Wait a few seconds. Just hit the record button again, or just the space bar, and we can listen to it. Of course, this is really bad because I suck at using this. I would be better at That's all. I personally, I hate this thing. I suck at recording with the keys. I would be good if it was like this, but it, of course it is not. I am hitting G and it is not doing anything. So now I'm just gonna hit H, da 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 do. Kaboom, I don't care. Okay. I'm just gonna delete this. And next tutorial will be on the Reason Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Peace out.